Ugh, look at the rain outside, kid. It's filthy out there. Yeah, it's a little too dark to see all the storm out of the kettle. It just looks like darkness. Well, still, it's too filthy to go be playing outside, especially this time of night. You kids better stay in here while the storm passes, or else I'm gonna have to get out the cane. Hey, not the cane. What's the cane? Never had to deal with the cane before. You don't want to know, Chalice. The cane may be a hunk of wood, but it has horrors that even you couldn't comprehend. Do not disrespect the cane, boy. Yes, sir. Correct the mundo, sir. Elder Kettle, sir. Salute, officer. Well, I'm gonna go read a book. Your kids uh, play inside or something. Yeah, what do you guys want to do? I don't know. It's boring in here. It's got nothing to do. You guys got any board games? Uh, maybe. Let me go check the closet. All right. You ain't thinking about going outside, Chalice. Trust me, you do not want to mess with the cane. Muggsy, I'm just staring at the rain. I'm not thinking about going outside or nothing. There's nothing out there for me. <gasps> oh, no! Muggsy, look! It's dark. What about it? At the darkness, dummy! Look at that tree! Oh, it's an egg. Yeah, and it's an egg stuck in that dark, stormy storm! Oh, that's a shame. Where's its mother? Aren't the mother supposed to, you know, take care of the egg while it's in a storm like this? Or any, any bad weather, for that matter? I don't know, but it needs our help! That poor thing's gonna freeze! Or worse, maybe it could push the egg off, and it goes... <sighs> I've heard of that before. Yeah, and then when it hits the ground, not only will it go... It'll also go... And then... And there'll be bird baby guts everywhere! And we still want no bird baby guts everywhere, do we, Muggsy? We don't, but look how dangerous that storm is! And Elder Kettle said explicitly not to go outside! Mm, but that poor birdie! I can hear it tweeting already! Tweet, tweet! <laughs> Here we go, fellas! A deck of playing cards! What's up with Chalice? She's upset because there's a baby bird egg stuck in a tree all alone! And Muggsy won't let me go out and get it! Hmm. I mean, Elder Kettle did say not to go out there, Chalice. I understand where Muggsy's coming from. Baby bird guts! <laughs> Then again, baby bird guts will be pretty sad. And Elder Kettle will be pretty upset if that was on his lawn. Ugh, and I know we'd have to clean it up. Ah! Yeah, I don't really want to clean baby bird guts. Mm. You know, Muggsy, I think Chalice is right. Really? We're gonna go out there? But Cuphead the cane! It's okay, Muggsy. We'll all be fine, because Chalice will go out there and get the egg for us. Yeah, we'll all get the egg to go... Wait, just me? I mean, yeah, you was the one that suggested this whole thing. Why don't you go out there? You seem the most, you know, feisty for it. You know, you're my tough gal. Oh, well, uh, thanks, but, uh, I don't know. It's, uh... A little stormy outside. Come on, Chalice, it's a walk in the park. A horrifically dark and stormy park, but a park. Uh, I don't know, Cuphead. Why are you so worried about it? Mm, okay. As long as you two got my back and make sure Elder Kettle doesn't come back and seize me. Don't worry, toots, I got your back. Right here in our warm, comfy house, with a warm, comfy bed. Oh! And with a warm cup of joe. I got you back. Uh, Cuphead, can I have some? Oh yeah, of course, Muggsy. I ain't gonna drink this whole thing at this hour. Thanks. Mm. Isn't that technically cannibalism? What? It's just a chumpy chunk of china chalice. I don't know why you're so worried about it. Whatever. Alright. You boys wish me luck. Good luck, sweetheart! Bring home the goods! <sighs> this is nice. I know, right? Nice seeing someone else take the wheels for a while. It's a little birdie egg! Alright, Chalice, you got this! Chalice is okay. What? Is that Chalice flying by the window? Man, yeah, I think you're hearing things. Ah! 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 Egg! Whoa! Why is it so big? It didn't look this big out the window. Oh my god, this thing's freaking huge. <laughs> I got it! I got it! Ah! No, the egg! Oh. Oh. Is the egg okay? Oh. 
Charles, you think with all the work you did, you'd be more careful with that thing? <sighs> Shut up. Oh my god, Chalice, you're filthy. Yeah, you think I ain't noticed? It's a hellscape out there. Well, at least you got the egg. And in perfect condition, I might add. Thanks, boys. I really appreciate it. That was some nice work you did. Good thing I was here. All snuggled up and right here to catch it. Just all that hard work didn't go to waste. <laughs> got that? Would you kid, darling, come over here for a second? Eh, yeah, okay. Uh, what's up, Charles? <laughs> <sighs> Better. I'm gonna go shower. Ugh, took five minutes to get all that gook out of my ear. Ah! You got the dang thing wrapped up in my blankie! You still call it a blankie? It! I said it! Oh yeah, I was gonna get some kind of a nest. You're gonna get all your boy joints all over it. Get all them salmonellas in it. Yeah, shut up, Cuphead. It'll be fine. Yeah, it just needs some warmth for until its mother gets back in the storm passes. This feels like an awfully big egg for being a bird egg. Maybe the mother was bulking. Well, in the meantime, until its mother gets back, I think we should assume, you know, regular parental roles. I think since I found it and, you know, am being responsible for it, I should be the mother as any good mother would do, and protect a child. So you two's gotta fight over who's gonna be the dad or who's gonna be the weird uncle. Well, you know, a second mother, if you're into that sort of thing. Well, I for one think I'm perfectly fit to be mom. You mean dad? Dad! I said dad. Okay... Why should you get to be the dad? You don't even wanna go out and get that thing in the first place! Well, you know, the game's a big responsibility and would instill a lot of family trauma. You're too irresponsible to be dead. <gasps> Bugsy, I would never! I would care perfectly well for the heart and soul of my child. You weren't even willing to share your blanket with it a couple minutes ago. Eh, yeah, shut up! That is no way to be treating a mother. Fine, if you want to be the mama so bad, Chalice, sit on it. What? Oh yeah, like a bird. Bird's mama sit on the eggs all the time, it keeps them warm. Yeah, warm. Sit on the egg. Uh... You don't know even think the blanket's enough? What, you afraid your big tuchus is gonna squish it? Come <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm playing around. I'm teasing you too much. But seriously, sit on it. You know what? Fine. And I'll prove my tuchus won't squish it either. <sighs> this feels strange. I'll tell you what, Chalice. You make a great egg sitter. I don't know if I'm supposed to take that as a compliment or not, but thank you. So we can have to still decide who's going to be the dad. I do not give creepy uncle vibes. You might give cool uncle vibes, though. Besides, everyone knows the cool uncle's way better than the dad anyway. Wait, what? Go ahead, Muggsy. You can be dead. What if I want to be the cool uncle? Oh my god, Muggsy, just be the dad already. Fine, fine, jeez. Look at you two like an old married couple already. After that dad and uncle argument, I don't want to hear it from you. Come on, sport. I'll take you down to the derbies for the day. Drinks on me. Cuphead, he ain't even born yet. He's not old enough to drink. Oh, Chalice, it's the 1930s. Anyone can drink. <laughs> That was another t joke based on how old times were terrible. Mm. So, uh, what are we gonna name him? First of all, we don't even know if it's a boy yet. And second, well, we're just temporary parents. I wouldn't want to take that responsibility away from its mother. How do we know boys even give names to their kids? Boys don't talk. Maybe it is a talking boy. Ah! <laughs> Moxie, a talking boy. You're a jokester. In a world with talking kettles and cups and mugs and chalices, it never be a talking boy. <laughs> oh, you're full of it. You're full of it. You're a little jokes to you. Oh, talking bird. You're fun. Hmm. How about if it's a girl? Uh, we name her Joanne. Why Joanne? Oh, uh, that was my mother's name. You have a mother? Of course I do! Hypothetically. What do you mean, hypothetically? You know, in the instance I knew who my mother was. I was an orphan. So that's why you never go home. Okay, besides that, what if he's a boy? You know, I know y'all's got a certain uncle to name him after. How about we call him Mugman Jr.? Hmm, not a bad idea. I'm hurt. I'm deeply hurt. I'm the cool uncle, and I'm deeply hurt. Can't believe you do that to the cool uncle, Muggsy. I can't believe it. I'll make his middle name Cuphead or something. But yeah, Mugman Cuphead, whatever the last name would be. Great name, Muggsy. It's a fantastic freaking name. What 
cute, can it? Maybe it'll be a girl and we just won't have to worry about that. Shut, Shut up, Chalice. All right, boys, I've had it with the two. Ah! Bowser's butt broke the egg. Oh, man. Sorry. Oh, God, it's hatching. I literally just took a shower. <gasps> Little buddy. Uh. What is it, Chalice? There's still egg guts in my eyes. Guys, I don't think this is a boydy egg. What is it? <gasps> so that explains why it was so big. God, what's so bad about that? Do you realize how mad the mother's gonna be when she finds out we took her egg? You realize how big dragons are? There's a reason he's just as tall as me. She's gonna be huge. She's gonna bite the whole house down. Oh, come on, Muggsy. Biting houses down by dragons is in fairy tales. That's not real. Just like talking bites. You guy? A goyle? I haven't really checked. <laughs> okay, it's safe to say he can breathe fire. Or she. Oh, that's just great. Ah, it can already fly! After that dragon! Baby! You know, kids, I got thinking. It really does suck being cooped up in this stupid old house, so maybe I will let you guys go outside in the dark stormy night to play. And I won't have to get the cane. Only if you really want to. Ah, dragon! <laughs> God! Oh, the kettle got taken by the dragon! What are we gonna do? I don't know! Why is there a dragon? Dear God, somebody help me! He's flying all around the room with him! Oh, God! Baby dragon, sweetie, please bring the old kettle back down! Ah! Ah! I think he's gonna stop. Ah! Oh, I need my hard medication. <laughs> nice birdie. Oh! oh. Ah! oh! Why are you hurting our poor old Elder Kettle? Stop that mean dragon. I am not going to take you out to the derby or drinks if you keep this baby up. <laughs> it's okay, Cuphead. I'm okay. You're killing him. Oh, God, Elder Kettle. I got us in this mess. I'm going to get us out. <laughs> Excuse me, Cuphead. Ah. I'm coming, Elder Kettle. <laughs> Joanne? Or Mugman Cuphead, last name Junior. I know I'm not your real mommy, but could you please stop hurting their poor old Elder Kettle? I'd really appreciate it. I just wanted to save you from that storm, you know? It looks so dark and cold. I know what it's like to be dark and cold and alone. I just, I just wanted you to be okay. Thank you for the safe challenge. Oh. You're welcome, Elda Kettle. <laughs> oh, I think it wants its mama. Oh, I mean, I can try being your mama if you want to until your real mama gets back. <laughs> oh, God, it's crying. <laughs> Wait a minute. If that's how big a baby dragon is, then how big is the mom? Well, kids, that was a great adventure. Now you three better get started rebuilding this house. I'll go buy lumber first thing in the morning. Somehow, I think this was worse than the game.